Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Look what we've got here, and on a Sunday nevertheless, the new Lee APP Press. This press is very intriguing, and although I'm a Dylan guy, I've got four Dylan presses and a Reading T7 turret, this press looked really, really cool for certain applications. For swaging, for decapping, bullet sizing, so I said, you know what, let's give it a shot. A friend of mine told me about it, showed me some videos of him using it, and I said, wow, it looks good. It's very inexpensive, and I was lucky to find one at Mid-South Shooter Supply. Let's open the box, see what's inside. Okay, I ordered some extra shell holders, which is definitely what's in this bag from Mid-South, so they uh, included it in the same box, which was fantastic. Let me take everything out of the box, and then I'll show you what's in it. We'll be right back. All right, we're back. Kudos to Lee on packaging. This press was packed really well. It's, it's not a very heavy or large press, but it was packed very well in the box. No movement at all. Definitely no chance of it being damaged. So that was really good. The press comes with three shell holders. I believe they're for 9mm, 45 ACP, and 223. So the most popular rounds. I do a lot of different calipers. So these four here, I purchased at the same time from Mid-South Shooters. And they sent them in that little pink bag you saw before when I was unboxing. And they came in the same box and that's great. Uh, the good thing is Mid-South obviously turns inventory pretty quickly. The new shell holders have the centers milled out and every shell holder that I received is the new stock. So appreciate that Mid-South, thank you very much. All right, what's in the box? Well, these are loading tubes, different sizes for different calipers. Okay, so you can drop your 45, 9, 40, 223, different size shells that you could feed the press with. In this bag are all the risers that come with the press. Lee includes five unique risers with every press they ship. They're double-ended and they use both for bullet and case feeding. The C side is for case feeding while the O side is for bullet feeding. You need to always select the riser that is slightly shorter than the case or bullet you wish to process. In this bag are the tube supports that hold the case feeding tubes that I showed you previously. There are four specific ones for all four tubes. Here's the bottle adapter that comes with the press. This attaches below the press to collect your spent primers or any of the other things that you use the press for. There's a lock ring inside and a spline wrench included also. Pretty handy. And then of course the press. Here's the press. It, it's not large and it's not heavy. Um, but everything I've seen on it, this thing works really, really well. Uh, the nice thing about it is because it is such a small footprint, I'll be able to find a real small place to put it in that won't take up a lot of room in the reloading room and I'll have access to it. I may even mount it on a uh, movable stand so I can take it around the house uh, to decap brass when I want and not have to worry about it. Those are processes that I call mindless ones and they're easy to do and you don't have to worry about being distracted because you're not dealing with powder or live primers or anything like that. So there's the press. Put that aside. And then, pretty cool. They send you a Hodgson uh, data manual. I happen to use all Hodgson brand powders. Uh, IMR, Winchester, and Hodgson. So that actually will come in handy for me. And then you've got a Lee product catalog, which is cool. Shows you all their products, everything they make. That's nice if you're into Lee stuff or you, you want to see what they offer. You can go through their catalog of products. And then the APP, Automatic Processing Press Complete Instruction Manual. So this is good. It looks pretty comprehensive. I'm going to go through this and set up my press. Here's a time-lapse video of me setting up the press along with my good friend Rob DeGray. Rob's the guy who actually turned me on to the APP press in the first place. 
Rob's a competitive shooter and a master 3D printer. As you can see, we mounted the press to a plywood board atop a Harbor Freight bench grinder stand. I did this so I could move it around the house if I wanted to decap brass while doing other things. The greatest thing about this is that Rob 3D printed me an automatic electric case feeder, which you'll see in a bit. Here it is finished, mounted to the stand. And what I did then was after we got all done, I took it back apart and I decided to cover the piece of wood in some camo fleece to make it look better. You can see here how that came out. It looks great, very pleased with it. Here's the finished product all set up in the reloading room. And here's the 3D printed case feeder. This thing's genius. Rob did an unbelievable job. It works flawlessly, and I'm gonna set it up and show you how it runs. Our initial setup on the case feeder in the press is for nine millimeter. I threw a bunch of 380 brass in here, and that should work just fine. The setup should be identical. Um, let's turn this thing on and see how it works. As you can see, the case feeder is collating the brass. Fill in the tube. And she should stop. There she goes. Rob put an optical sensor in it, and that will shut it off when it detects a piece of brass. You can see how quickly the case feeder filled up that tube. It was only a few seconds, and then the optical sensor shut it off. As we start to use the press, and the piece of brass drops below the optical sensor, it will automatically start the case feeder back up and it'll fill until it stops again. All right, let's give it a shot, see how she works. When we pull the handle, it's gonna pick up a piece of brass, move it into position in the shell holder. Our universal decapping die is gonna come down, knock the primer out. You heard the case feeder start up because it sensed that there was nothing where that optical sensor is, so it fed another piece. We're going to come out, next piece is going to go into place, push the other piece out, die comes down, decaps, and so on. And as fast as we go, that's as fast as this is going to work. So as you can see, the Lee APP press, along with some ingenuity from a guy who really knows what he's doing with 3D printing, makes this press the ultimate processing press for me. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Until next time, Skeeter out.